Hello, welcome to live.wico.uk. This is series three where we're looking at how to prepare for the Edexcel GCSE Computer Science on screen Python um, exam. And this video is, is the second in that series where we're trying to prepare for question two or the type of question that might come up as a question two in that on screen exam. Um, so you'll find links in the description to all of these kind of activities. The K-Pride activities and the keywords activities in those are particularly aimed at preparing you for question one, where you have to understand code and identify key concepts there. Um, but the extension activities, um, which is link four on the screen at the moment, um, those are the ones where you can find uh, these style um, questions. There are three challenges that I've given you, all in a slightly different style, similar to uh, sample past paper, well, and specimen papers, because we haven't had a past paper yet, um, for question two. Uh, the idea is you often have common mistakes and you have to um, fix those mistakes. You have to do some debugging to try and make the program run. So I'll go through the first of those extension activities, and then there are two more that you can work through. Uh, so I hope that as you work through, it builds up your confidence. So in the actual exam, you'll have a paper copy of the question paper. I've given you that um, online. Um, and then you get given some code which you have to open offline. Obviously, you won't have access to Create with Code or any website in your exam. Um, I'm going to open this in a new window, flop it on one side so that we can see both the questions and the code at the same time. There we go. So you will notice again that the comments in the code correspond to the questions in the question paper. Um, so it's important to read through both of these. And remember, if you're offline, it really helps. Um, I, I strongly recommend that you um, save your code straight away in the completed coding folder. So file, save as, or control shift S. Save it as Q02 finished so that um, you don't accidentally overwrite that file. OK, so let's go through this one. Um, common mistakes. So um, remember, in the KPRIDE activities, the D of KPRIDE stands for debug. So that's a way that you can practice these kind of things. It injects common mistakes. Um, here we've got syntax error on original line five. Um, we need to import instead of import. Um, and in the actual exam, it won't self-mark for you. It's just to try and give you some instant feedback uh, in this practice. Fix the syntax error on original line 13. So it says original line because if you put in extra lines, then obviously they're not going to be the same. Um, so here, colors is a constant. It's written in capital letters. And it's a list. It contains multiple values, but we don't have the square bracket at the start to start that list. Then we have a name error um, on line 41, as in if you try and run it at the moment, um, that might be what you've got. Uh, the next error comes up as um, radius equals size on line 41. Let's have a look. So here there's nothing particularly wrong with this, except for it doesn't know what size is. But if we scroll up, we have got a constant called target size. Sometimes you've just got to read through the code to familiarize yourself and work out um, what is available to you. Um, and then the error on original line 52. So this um, is a for loop. We're trying to draw a target, which means we're going to use iteration, repetition, to repeat and draw each circle separately. We've got a for loop to repeat however many times we need to for however many circles we have. And all of the code that's indented should be repeated. So that tells me that this section here also needs to be repeated to be part of that for loop. Um, and then we've got a logic error here. So this will work. It's not going to crash. Um, so a syntax error would prevent the code from running at all. A runtime error would mean that it crashes. But we've got a logic error where it does the wrong thing. Um, so here we're calling fill circle, which is a user defined subprogram, which expects these parameters, X, Y, color and radius. We are providing those, but we're providing them in the wrong order. We're doing Y first and then X. So we need to swap those around. 